Good morning, Dietunbergen. I got some breakfast. Schudebe. I had an apple from the best grocery store in Norway. Kiwi. Don't really know what I'm doing today yet. I'm supposed to have a little tour of mm, my works Bergen facilities, but I haven't heard anything back from that, so I'm kind of just trying to stay nearby. I'm just walking around downtown, so yeah, not sure, not sure what's going on, but I'm just enjoying myself. Okay, so I just got word that I can in fact go to her, um, my work here in Bergen, so it was kind of good timing. I was heading down to check out this area anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm just walk in there now, take a look. I won't film it because I'm pretty sure it's all confidential, but yeah, be a lot of fun. Good time. Oh, I see. Can we have a problem with the phone? Can we have a problem in, the, in that uh, round board? You can have. So. That tour of work was kind of fun. Um, now I'm at a bus stop again. Okay, can you see how hot it is? <laughs> My face just gets so shiny when it's hot. It looks like sunscreen or something. Anyway, um, yeah, now I'm just going to be like bus hopping or something. I just want to explore just random parts of Bergen and different neighborhoods and take buses to different places that kind of maybe look pretty. So I'm kind of going over some of the mountains to the east of here, um, to the fjord, and I think that could maybe be pretty. I don't know, but uh, should be a good time. And then from there, who knows? I think there's a disc golf course over there. Um, I'll get there, then I'll see if I want to actually check it out. Probably get some food at some point, but yeah, just really just going with the flow here. So it's a good time. Look at this cute train station. Just Arna. Uh, is a Kiwi up there? I just picked up some lunch. Now I'm going back down to the fjord here. Uh, I saw some sun chairs, so hopefully they're still there, available. And I'm just gonna relax because it's so beautiful here. Everything is so cute and perfect. Oh yeah. And so it begins. Uh, this is an 80 hole course. Probably all of them. Don't see why not. Uh, my first ever non-Canadian disc golf experience, so probably won't film a whole lot because that's not what this channel is. It's also annoying and also I'm bad. Yeah. Okay, so I'm on like hole five or six or something, and uh, I've already decided I'm not doing the back nine because that's somewhere else-ish and it's near a bunch of buildings. And I am throwing so bad today. My first one was a plus three, I think. So, uh, yeah, not going to be doing that. I'm just going to do the front nine. Also, like, I'm sweating so much. Like, the first hole, it was, like, uphill, like, this much at the end. And, uh, yeah, it's taking a lot out of me. But it is so beautiful, at least. So, at least I'm enjoying the scenery. There's cool mushrooms and stuff everywhere, so... We'll take it. It's also incredibly swampy and muddy. And like, this one has a bridge. Most of them don't. 
And even if they do, they're up on the side. What's this like cute bar? This is so cool. Is that where we came to? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, so it's just straight down now, but like. Cheers! Yeah, it's Good morning. It's the next day. I'm trying to climb that mound and get to a lake or something. I'm a little out of shape. I haven't done a hike like this in a while. It's a lot of vertical, but let's keep pacing myself. But oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Like, look at that view already. Sun rising. Gorgeous. All right, I just came up from there. I kind of made it to the top of the mountains now, so uh, there's a viewpoint that way a little bit. So I'm going to do that, and then there's a lake. So I'll come back and go to that, and maybe I'll swim. All right, made it to the viewpoint. And my gosh, is it stunning. There's a gable car there. It's not running yet today, and there's also the uh, particular over there, but I wanted to do it the legit way, so I climbed up. My Airbnb is like down over there somewhere. Uh, yeah, now I'm hot because now we got the sun, but at least this part was all in the shade here. But it's just absolutely gorgeous. This lake, so pretty, up in the mountains. I, I love mountain hikes. I love going swimming in lakes. This is kind of like the perfect spot. Very cool. So, obviously Bergen's a really cool town, for a lot of reasons. This one probably one of the obvious ones, but the whole Seven Mountain thing is just so cool. Like, got your city, and surrounding the entire city, it's just all these different mountains. It's like, wherever you are, if you want to climb a mountain, just turn around, go uphill, and you'll hit one. I think it's just so cool. It's just like a, a mountain for everyone. And lakes and ocean. But yeah. Alright, we are starting our descent now and then I'll figure out what else I want to do today. Um, I'm thinking maybe just take some buses and head as far west as possible. That sounds kind of cool. Yesterday I went a little east to a fjord. Um, yeah, but there's a lot of I'm, I'm trying to stay within my one zone pass and there's a little bit to the east but there's a lot to the west so let's see how far that gets me look at this guy how's it going friends over there you're just chilling here 
All right, take care. Oh boy, so I just got here. I don't know where here is, but I was going to do a whole loop. I just came from way over there, here, and there's a ferry to go to the other side. And I swear I checked the schedule, it said 5.30. It's 5 now. Like, I looked at it, and that's why I planned this. And, uh... Yeah, I just checked again and it said 7.30. So do I have to wait for two and a half hours? Well, this is fun. So, I found this cute little bench here at least. So, got a bit of a view, which is nice. I still, I have like two hours left. I'm still in denial about needing to wait two hours here. I'll have to find something to do. At least it's in the shade and it's, at least it's relaxing though, so. I don't know what this ferry is, but it showed up like an hour early. So, it's pretty good trade, I don't miss anything. Okay, so, here's the deal. I came down here, cars got off, dude on the ferry came to talk to someone who was parked here waiting for the boat as well and they yapped and I think they were asking when it's supposed to leave and then bro said Tipoota which is 10 past 8 it was leave at 7 20 I thought it's like 6 20 now so that's another hour I have to wait <laughs> if I heard that right could be wrong but <sighs> yeah so <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I'm enjoying myself, but it's drawing my glasses. The only problem is I don't want to leave here just in case I got the time wrong. But there's nowhere to really sit. And everything's in the sun apart from behind this container. So, oh well. The good thing, or the fun thing, I guess, is that this boat you see is charging because it's an electric boat, which means it was made by. Corvus Energy. Well, the batteries for this boat were made by Corvus Energy, which is the company that I work for. So that's at least kind of satisfying. Actually, seeing what I do in the field. So, 7:20, the original leaving time, and I'm on the ferry, and it's about to go. So. We're actually on time, but still two hours later in the boat. So, I don't know if you've been on a ferry before, but they're normally really loud and shaky and everything like that. But with the electric ones, it's so smooth and quiet, I didn't even realize we're moving at first. It's so fast, like the turn as well, it's just insane there. And the loudest thing is uh, the heaters, even though I don't know why they're on, because it's pretty warm out today, but it's nice and toasty in here.
of the Antibaca Ibergen. Is so pretty. Um, it's kind of nice. So I was at first a little upset because I ferry got in and it's 50 minutes until the bus comes. And it's like, why wouldn't you just time the bus with the ferry? But you know what? Enjoying this sunset for a little bit could be a lot worse. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> in Bergen today. Um, I'm just gonna be walking around exploring today because I've only gone out of the city so far so yeah I don't know how much I'm gonna show but we go to a cafe get some breakfast it's like one but whatever. So Bregen is open today? Look. That's the mountain, like, yeah. Oh. So it's a mountain, but, yeah. But, yeah. Yes, of course. Alright. Take care, my guy. See ya. Bon voyage. <laughs> Take care. Well, this vlog is probably very chaotic. Um, but, just say goodbye to Nordic. I know he wasn't really in the videos too much, but we were hanging out a lot. Especially at nighttime. Going out to places, so. Yeah, um, big shout out to that guy and uh, just how much uh, hospitality and generosity he had for me during my time here in Bergen. Um, just in general, giving me the best first impressions of a city that I could possibly have. So, yeah. Sad to see him go. I'm sure I'll see him again. And uh, big thank you to that guy. So cool. That all being said, it is now late o'clock, I don't know, and I'm back at the Airbnb, and I'm going to wrap the vlog here. So, those are my first impressions of Bergen, and they were absolutely amazing, and I think I've fallen in love with this place, which is kind of what I expected, so, uh-oh. <laughs> if you know, you know. Anyway, yes, so that's going to do it for this video. Um, thank you guys all so much for watching. Again, special thank you to Nordic and everyone who was just so hospitable to me in my time here. This place is so beautiful. So, so beautiful. So many cool places to explore. Around every little corner, there's something just amazing. So, thank you guys so much for watching another video. And... I'll see you in the next one where we have lots more travels to come. Peace out. Love you guys.